Ah, the Hackintosh, the universal answer to Apple's expensive hardware choices. If you're like me, you enjoy the OS X interface, use Final Cut Pro, or maybe you just don't have $6,000 to spend on the iMac Pro. Today I will be talking about how and why Apple is cracking down on Hackintosh users. So this is my Hackintosh. I built it mid-2016, all the latest and greatest parts. It's got a quad-core i7, 4 gigahertz, all that jazz. Worked really great for about two and a half years. I've loved it, but unfortunately I can't use this thing anymore and I'm gonna explain why. But before I get into it, I just wanna do a quick summary on what a Hackintosh is for the people who have no idea what they are. Basically a Hackintosh is a PC built with very specific parts which allows it to run OS X using a bootloader. It's not a super complex process, but you do have to know what you're doing. I will leave a link in the description to the official Hackintosh developer website. Okay, so jumping into the main topic of this video, there are three ways Apple is trying to phase these things out. So the first one is Apple is removing all NVIDIA products from their computers. They had a huge dispute with NVIDIA over the past few years. They are removing all NVIDIA graphics cards from their latest computers and they are completely cutting ties with them. And Apple is now strictly partnered with AMD for their graphics processing units. I think this is going to change in the next couple years, but that will be mentioned in my next point. And this is a problem for Hackintosh users like me who are using NVIDIA graphics cards you can no longer use those in Mojave. You have to resort to High Sierra if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. Of course, you can get an AMD card and put it in instead. As long as everything's compatible, it should be fine to upgrade to Mojave. Okay, so basically because Apple has not released a new Mac Pro since 2013, this actually creates a ton of problems for Hackintosh users. Basically how it works on a Hackintosh is once you have everything installed and everything's done, you can make the computer think it's a Mac. But basically since they only have an old version of the Mac Pro, you have to use the iMac one and this is where the real problems start to come up. Because once your Hackintosh is all set up and you pick what computer you're making the Hackintosh think it is, if you pick iMac, you're going to get all these weird red lines around all the text and it just looks horrible, it's really hard on the eyes. And this happens because when you define your Hackintosh as the iMac, it is going to use the Kex for iMac screens. Now, I'm guessing that you're not using an iMac screen because you have a Hackintosh, but to summarize this point, the weird red line thing happens because all the text, all the graphics, everything else has been designed for retina screens and only retina screens. So if you're using anything else, it's just gonna look gross and ugly, and that is a huge issue now for us Hackintosh users. I forgot to mention this while I was filming this video, but basically swapping an AMD card into your Hackintosh seems to fix the problem. It has something to do with the drivers, but don't quote me on that because I am not a software engineer. And now for the third and final point of this video, which is new Apple architecture. So Apple has basically decided to create their own chipset, their own processors, which will be coming out early 2020. They will eventually phase out all Intel processors. And this is very bad news for the Hackintosh community because it basically means that they will not work anymore. Now I'm really not that knowledgeable when it comes to processors, but what I do know is that it's going to make OS X a very exclusive system. It's going to be very hard to make a product like the Hackintosh happen again after that. Now, although this last point does threaten the existence of the entire Hackintosh community, I really don't think it makes a lot of sense for them to phase out all their Intel computers quite yet. I think they're going to do it really gradually, but eventually I do not think they're going to have support for Intel machines. I think that is in the near future. And I just wanted to finish off this video by saying, yes, you can totally still build an AMD machine to turn into a Hackintosh, but unfortunately over the next few years, it will be getting a lot harder. But that is it for this video, guys. I hope you learned something new today. If you did, consider liking liking and subscribing. It really helps me out. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think is going to happen with the Hackintosh community over the next few years. Stay tuned for my next video as I post weekly. And once again, you guys, thanks for watching.